Hello, my name is Lindsey Graham, and I am a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. By show of hands, I'm curious uh, how many of you believe and confess that I'm a cat? Great. I am, by show of hands, I'm curious how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat? No one. You are right. Why? Because you are not stupid, and these children are not stupid. Truth prevails over imagination. Reality exists. Discernment is innate and something we are biologically wired to have. One look at me and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. You may also think correctly that if I truly believe I'm a cat, I have a mental disorder. If I suffer from a mental disorder and if I am unable to discern reality, am I safe to be around children? Would you put me in charge of making critical decisions about the safety and well-being of children? and about the direction of their education when I cannot even discern truth from fiction. Confession, I'm not actually a cat, guys, just because I say I am. You've not agreed to or committed to addressing me as a cat simply because I demand it. No tail, whiskers, or outfit makes me a cat, just like no lipstick, high heels, or long hair makes him a man, a woman. It is just as biologically impossible for me to become a cat as it is for a man to be a woman. Do you believe that the actions of a grown man playing dress up as a woman affects the students and staff positively or negatively? A public school is not the place for social experiments in altered realities or gender ideologies. It is not the place to celebrate a grown man with a mental illness, dressing as a woman and teaching kids lies. What you're actually doing is worse than just lying to our kids. You're forcing them to be participants in your lie, in your charade. I ask you again, Am I a cat? And if you say no, then the mindset must be aligned with your discernment across the board. By allowing a falsity to be displayed and paraded around the school, you teach children that truth is not existent, facts are not real, and biology is a lie. If you were to address me as a cat right now, it's as ridiculous as when you say Miss Bixler and a grown man's voice comes thundering over this. Thank you. So, Lindsay, what was actually happening at this school district that made you have to dress up as a cat to prove your point? This was a local school um, in my neighborhood where there was a member of the school board whose name is Paul Bixler. He is a man. He's very clearly a man. And the only thing he does to identify as a female is put lipstick on. Uh, he grew his hair out a little bit, and he wears his deceased wife's clothing to school. And believe it or not, he actually demands on being identified one of two ways, either Paul, which is a man's name, of course, or Miss Bixler. So it's very clear that he has a gender identity crisis, but he sits on the board and he's making decisions for these children. And the point that I was trying to make as a cat, someone with this kind of mental illness can enjoy that mental illness all they want in the comfort of their own home. But when you put them in charge of children, we're talking about a new type of indoctrination. And that's what's really terrifying is seeing these people in charge of our kids' education.